Hello, plant. <laughs> I just saw this inside the van. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to another US vlog. Um, I'm Benny, and um, hope everybody's iry and having good vibes. Oh. So, I just got into London from uh, the Netherlands, um, and had to immediately change my attire because it's actually like freezing cold here right now. Like seriously, really cold. If you saw the, um, the previous vlog, I was talking on about the importance of teamwork and building a team and working together to kind of get to one um, destination. And if you don't know already, we run a young green coconut water business and vegan pancake business that operates in North and East London, United Kingdom. Um, <coughs> and I kind of wanted to kind of through these vlogs and as part of the US story introduce the various different people that contribute towards the function and development and progress of us so um, Hi. this is Melissa stepping out of your comfort zone you you expand your mind you expand how you think you're working on your feet, it's very quick. I used to be someone that suffered with a lot of anxiety and I still do. And I think this part, especially about coming out of my comfort zone, it, it taught me that we can actually control what goes on within us. It doesn't need to be the other way around. It doesn't need to be a thing where we are controlled by our own thoughts or controlled by anxiety. I see it as this, in life we have a suitcase and we have destinations and um, we have different things we need in our luggage that can take us to a certain place but once we get to that destination we actually need to unpack and now put in things in this luggage that are going to take us to the next point Man, there's something quite liberating about whew, being out there on a the BMX. Like, as soon as I jump on BMX in the fresh air, the kind of inner child comes out of me and I kind of just start enjoying the journey and stuff. So I'm a little bit out of breath. As I said in the previous vlog, I mentioned that I've been suffering from hay fever and asthma at the moment. <coughs> First update, I'm actually waiting for some reishi mushrooms uh, powder to come through and see how that has an impact on my asthma and hay fever. See if it helps and let you guys know. And um, hit me up in the comments below if you guys have got any home remedies or any way of naturally lightening or getting rid of asthma or hay fever. But yeah, before we get into today's vlog, um, I just wanted to kind of run you guys by why we do these vlogs in the first place. And one of the main reasons is to draw attention to any cause that we're a part of. And at this moment in time, we're driving to raise as much awareness and money for a young warrior called Desmina who's suffering from stage four neuroblastoma, which is a form of cancer. So what you can do is um, feel free, I'll leave the links in the description below on the screen right now, and also at the end of this vlog. And uh, they are to our online store, where 100% of the profits from our soul assassin, Kevin the soul assassin Ross signature line, go to Desmina and her family. And you can also donate money directly to Desmina via our donations page and yeah hopefully through these means we can kind of drive and work together to raise as much money and as awareness as possible for this young warrior because she deserves a break now um we just finished up the film shape we've been putting together this film for the last kind of i suppose year now which is taken us to san jose ireland holland london so through this vlog i'm kind of going to give you a uh, little bit of footage from my last visit to Enskede and kind of wanted to kind of talk to you guys about the editing process because I suppose like the interesting thing about our editing process is you know you hear about these artists talking about going to the studio or going into edit and it's like booze and weed and our kind of editing process myself and Johnny Bang Riley is like machines that send electrical stimulation to your brain so that you can be more focused and put in drops of Brahmi, which is an adaptogen that helps with clarity of mind and focus. And then we go out on BMX bikes and feed deer in the countryside 
between the border of Germany and Holland. Not to mention, like, having Jennifer Lewis. I'm Jennifer motherfucking Lewis! Interviews playing in the background while we're in the middle of an edit. So, you know, kind of wrapping up this film has kind of just made me realise how blessed and privileged I am to be in this situation where I have that much freedom to even go out there, ride bikes, and wrap up and finish off a feature length movie. camera we do that as a little test you know you see that we makes that little scamper just to check if you're a predator this is a colorway I put together school seats, you know. Old school colourway. I based it upon, you know, the lead sled. If you just Google lead sled, it's got that matte black and it's got the white wall tyres on it and all that, so it's kind of like inspired by a lead sled. I can ask Mommy to go to the Alright, excuse me. It's another colourway. Just like the pretty one out of the bunch. It's a straight up city rider, you know what I mean? And I always regard this part here. This is the jewelry. This one? Yes, I like the gold as well, this one. It makes it pop, in it. But I like this one. I can see yourself in it. Bye, Germany! My street racer. kind of keep them uh, like changing your shoes you know what I mean when I want to put another colorway I could put brown on this white rock brown on there I could put these ones on that red one and turn this one completely black you know what I mean you swap, you swap your sneakers about it's like all of them have a different feel obviously a different look and all of that you know what I mean so sometimes you're just not motivated, but there's something about my brain that likes variation. So I've been known in one day to ride five different bikes, like go out in one, come back in, all the, the endorphins are going, and then I'm like, let me ride that one. Then I go out again, then I come back, let me ride that one. You know, and that keeps me moving, having a different feel and a different bike to jump on. And when I'm too old to ride them anymore, there's going to be a lot of lucky kids around here. 
Yeah, as a kid that never had a bike, to actually be able to own. I mean, these are these are like my street bikes where you just zoom about the place. As soon as you get on a BMX, it makes you ride differently anyway. And you know, you have to ride with energy. You know what I mean? You can't just cruise along like that. It just makes you ride differently. And everybody that, when people come to visit me, they all get a BMX to ride. And it's the same thing at Missouri. No matter what size or age they are, they immediately start riding differently. You know what I mean? But like I said, as a kid that never had a bike, to actually get to a point through all my hard work to be able to afford a Pashley governor is something else. Because for me, this is the Bentley of push bikes. The actual timing sound of this is gorgeous, you know. Upon the autumn streets when the city is away on some lonesome quest for winter The man who sings his poems unravels this display And the neon spectrums turn to splinters And the nights are cold sometimes But never for his pages, they don't sway